Hi, I'm Lee at Iridium, and welcome to the show. So, 2018, the best rock and metal songs. Sorry, my favourite rock and metal songs. Let's not mistake this for me stating these are the best. This is opinions only. That's what this is all about. And we're up to 2018, so only three to go, including this one. And obviously we can't do 2021 yet, which I'm sure is going to be an absolutely fantastic year for the best songs. So what I usually do, I haven't mentioned this before. I might have an album that's my top album of that year, and I could literally choose five or six songs off of it. But we don't want to, I don't want to do that. There's definitely albums here where three of the songs maybe could be one, two and three of the year. But you know, I'm just trying to choose the best song off that album, if you like. So there you go, just a quick explanation. I don't, because otherwise I'll be just talking about one band. I don't want to do that. This is the best songs of the year. My favourite songs of the year. Um, but only one from each of the albums. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So, man, you just I can't believe how good now rock and metal is. Just to go off on a tangent a little bit. We always, don't we, we always, and I'm, I was the same, and I still am a little bit, I always harken back to those 80s, because the 80s days, because 80s was when I was growing up, and yeah, it was a good time. But, you know, it depends what age you are. So you've got all them 90s metal fans that think 90s was the best time, because they were growing up in that time, and so on and so forth. But music-wise, yeah, of course I miss some of those bands from the 80s, but man, look what you're getting now, and this list again, proves how good rock and metal is right now. Right now. I mean, this is only 2008. It's only a couple of years ago. But the 2020 list, even, even though it was a tough year, the albums that came out then, I mean, man, it's, it's just mental. Absolutely mental. We don't know how lucky we got it. Metal and, that, and rock and metal is never going to be as huge as it was in the 80s. All over TV, the charting at the top of the charts in america it's probably never going to happen again but the actual music we're getting on a lot of occasions is better than what we had in the 80s i think nostalgia plays such a huge part in it when we think about the 80s anyway you know that i love the 80s as much as anyone but just look at when i'm mentioning some of these songs on this list you just look at how cool these are and obviously i'm going to give little clips I've got a feeling some of these might be taken down. If, if you get no music along with the uh, band, you know that YouTube have just cut me off. All right? <laughs> but most of it should be okay. So we'll go number nine. And remember, these are the top tracks from the top albums. These are not... Number nine isn't the worst album of the year. It's far from it. Or the worst... My number nine isn't the worst song from the year. It's far from it. These are the best ones that come out of that year. So my number nine, going from nine to one, a band that I'm going to have coming up on a show on my A to Z underrated Overlook Bands, FM, and their song, Too Much of a Good Thing from Atomic Generation. The man, FM, a great English band, British band, been around since 1980. I think the first album came out in 86. A man, so, such a cool band to listen to. They're very much in the AOR category, melodic rock, rather than the heavier side. But they have got two sides, this band. They're, they've got their bluesier sort of side and they've got their more AOR side and too much of a good thing is definitely on their AOR side, which is the side that I prefer. And um, man, such a consistent band, Bring, been bringing out albums that are amazing. And I'm doing that show, like I said, with Darren O'Sullivan soon, coming up FM, we're going to talk about how underrated they are. So that's my number nine, FM Atomic Generation album and too much of a good thing is the song. So... Number eight, Time Can Heal by Praying Mantis. Don't know this time. 
Gravity album. So praying mantis, man. This band were around very early on on the music scene. Back when new wave of British heavy metal was the, you know, in the early 80s was really the height of, you know, new wave of British heavy metal. But now what they've done, they've changed into a more melodic, heavy rock, heavy metal band. And what they do on their albums, they really mix it up and they do the more commercial stuff, which Time Can Heal definitely comes from. But they've got heavier stuff as well. They're a great band, man. Check out Praying Mantis and Time Can Heal is the song I've chosen. Number seven, Nordic Union and My Fear and My Faith from Second Coming. So this is the second album from Nordic Union, um, aptly titled Second Coming. This is the project that's got Eric Martinson and Ronnie Atkins of Pretty Maids. Everything Eric Martinson touches is just magic, absolute magic, and this is no exception. My Fear and My Faith is the opening track on the album, and it's a slice of European melodic heavy rock done at its best. An absolutely amazing project put together, obviously, by Frontiers. We love Frontiers. Next, talking about Frontiers, my number six, Wet and Urgent from Earth Rage. <laughs> Nope, it's not a cover version of Foreigner song. It's their own song. It's an original song. This is their third album. Just bought out their fourth album off Earth Rage. The Earth Rage is a great album. It was a little bit more heavier than the first couple of albums. Urgent is a, just a, such a catchy song, man. And everything they do is catchy and melodic. Wet are a great band. Check them out. Coming in at number five. Got a bit heavier now, although this song ain't particularly heavy, but heavy in general. Tremonti and The First, The Last from A Dying Machine. So A Dying Machine, 2018. Wow, man, what a great album. It's a concept album from Mark Tremonti. A book as well also came with this. Um, you could buy a book about the concept of the album. It's an absolutely brilliant album. The First, The Last is such a catchy song, man. Um, this is the sort of song you would hear even the more light aside from Alter Bridge as well, the other band that Tremont is obviously in. Um, this is a great song, really catchy. First time you hear it, you've, anyone hearing this song would go, you know what, man, that's a brilliant song. Tremonti, the first, the last, man. So what we move on to now is Miles Kennedy and Love Can Only Heal from Year of the Tiger. La, 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 la. So this same year that Tremonti, it seems like they do it a lot, 
Tremonti brings out an album at the same time as Miles Kennedy brings out his solo album. So they take a bit of time off Auto Bridge. And that's what they usually do. And I think that's what's happening this year. We're definitely getting a Miles Kennedy album. I think we're probably going to get a Mark Tremonti album. This song, Love Can Only Heal, is, is amazing. So I saw Miles Kennedy that year twice live. Once in London, and then I saw him at a festival as well in Maidstone, Kent. And man, it's, this album was a, like an acoustic album that he brought out there. All he wanted to do it was dedicated to the memory of his dead father, his father who passed away when he was young. And Love Can Only Heal, man. It's such a sort of melancholy, sort of sad song. It's really intimate because you get Miles Kennedy on acoustic guitar and just his voice is the main drive of this song. There is a little bit more instrumentation later on in the song. But man, it's such a cool song. And when you hear it live, it just tugs at your heartstrings. Absolutely amazing. My number three, Striper. Can't live without your love. So, man, this is off the goddamn Evil album. It's one of the best ballads they've ever brought out in the modern year, without a doubt. Such a cool groove to this song. Um, absolutely love it. I was torn between this and another song. But I think this is such a brilliant song, this. This is such a great ballad. And, you know, you miss good ballads these days. It's got such a cool groove to it. Michael Sweet singing his heart out. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. Can't Live Without Your Love is my number three. So, number two, Alice in Chains and So Far Under from Rainier Fog. Man, Alice in Chains. You could, I could have actually included this in my overlooked category. Not Alice in Chains in general, because everyone knows what a pedigree they've got in the metal world. But because of their recent albums, are overlooked by older fans, you know, Lane Staley fans, who just can't, can't forget about Lane Staley being in the band. What a great, what's an absolutely great vocalist Lane Staley was. Let's not forget that. One of my favourite vocalists ever. But you've got to move on, you know, and I think their last few albums have been with um, William Duval have been fantastic. So Far Runder is a great song. It's got that real darkness about it still. You know, those real heavy Black Sabbath type riffs that, Alice in Chains are just absolutely perfect to doing. That's my number two, Alice in Chains, so far under. My number one. I do bang on about this band all the time. They were in my A to Z in the B category, and that's Blackberry Smoke, Till the Wheels Fall Off, from the Find the Light album. Up and over the mountain, while everybody goes round, all the rest and still I pick them up. This is probably my favourite album after Whippoorwill, which was the, my, such a great album from Blackberry Smoke. Find the Light was just everything Blackberry Smoke were about until the wheels fall off. Man, it's got something about it. It's re got a real groove. It's got a real Leonard Skinner groove to it. It just reminds me of Skinner. The verses are just like listening to Skinner. They're just absolutely perfect. Um, till the wheels fall off is a rocker. You know, and they do a lot of different sort of stuff, Blackberry Smoke. I mean, they're always keeping that southern stuff. But when they slow it down, they do, they, they become a little bit more country, I suppose. But when they turn their electric guitars up, they become more southern rock, southern, you know, they, they become a lot more rockier. Find the Light is a great album, Till the Wheels Fall Off. 
is a good example of when they rock it up. What a great song. Sounds like it was pulled from late 70s Skinner album. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. My number one, Blackberry Smoke, Till the Wheels Fall Off. I've got a couple of bands that nearly made it. Perfect Plan, another great band. Ammunition was a band nearly made it. Deny the Fallen, Hands for War song, great song. And Judas Priest, I nearly picked something off their Firepower album. They're my favourite album by them by, by a long way. That's it. My 2018 done. Two more to go. Two more years to go. Mental, mental. It's been a long time since I've done this. Obviously, I've got a lot of time on my hands at the moment. I'm off from work. We're hopefully be going back soon, so you might not see as many videos, but that's why you're getting a load of videos at the moment. 2018 wrapped up. Best year, best albums of the year, best singles of the year, or songs of the year. All done. 2018 done. 2019 next. See you next time.